All right, friends. Welcome back to another video on building multi-purpose Laravel 9 and View 3 application. And in this video, we'll be working on adding delete functionality. So first of all, let me give you the final demo of what we're gonna build throughout this video. So here we have the list of users and we have this delete icon. So once I click on this delete icon, we see this confirmation model. And here we have the option to delete or cancel. So if I click on delete user, then that user got deleted, and we see this beautiful toast notification. So throughout this video, we'll be building this exact thing. So now let's get started. Okay, so first of all, let's start by adding delete icon over here. So for that, let me go to list users dot view, which is instead of resources, yes, pages and users. And let me go to the end. And over here, we have edit icon similar to edit icon. Let's create delete icon as well. So F A trace. And on click, let's call the method call confirm user deletion. Okay. Now, if I come here and we see this icon, let's give it a color of text danger. Let's give margin left of two. And if I refresh it, and this is fine. So let me create this method called confirm user deletion over here. Confirm user deletion and we'll be receiving that user. And inside this, we need to show a confirmation model. So, first of all, let's show that confirmation model. Let's say delete user model model so and we need to create that model so similar to edit or create model over here we have this model so for now let me copy this model and let me edit this one so let me remove form from here and let's a div with a class of model body and another one div with the class of model footer and let's add that button as well so let me copy those paste it and over here let's remove this one V else as well and instead of a new user let's change this to delete user also let me change this ID as well delete user model now let me try this click on delete and we see that model which is perfect let's add the message over here as well inside of model body s5 are you sure you want to delete this user and this is fine and now instead of save let's do delete user let me change this bottom type submit to button and on click prevent the default behavior and call the method called delete user okay now let's create this method called delete user delete user equals arrow function and inside this we need to perform the axios request delete and we have not created that route but for now we'll be creating api slash users and we need to pass the user so user id we need to pass user id so first of all we need to get that id so here let me define one variable over here call const user id being deleted calls null and then inside that confirm user deletion we can set that value to user id okay 
so that we can access it here user ID being deleted dot value and after the user is deleted for now let's display that toast notification called toaster dot success user deleted successfully now we need to create this route so let me go to web.php and after this let me create a route for delete user api slash user slash user user controller class and will be calling destroy method so let me go inside this class and let's add that method called display will be receiving that user and inside this will perform delete operation and after this user is successfully deleted we'll return the response return response no content okay now let me refresh this page and let me click on delete and with this and we see this model if I click on delete user and it is saying that user is deleted successfully and we have few issues that you the model is not hiding and this is not being removed from here as well so if I refresh it that got removed but on the front end side that part is still there right so we'll be fixing that so to fix that let me go to list users and inside this after the user is deleted then we need to hide the model called delete user model dot model hide we need to hide the model as well as we need to remove that specific user from here right so for that we can set that users dot value to users dot value dot filter through each user and we'll be turning the user dot id returning the users which id is not equal to user id being deleted dot value okay this is users now let me try one more time delete this user delete user and that got removed as well and we see this beautiful toast notification which is perfect and if i refresh that page it is permanently deleted which is perfect so this was for this video i hope you learned something from this video so don't forget to like share and subscribe to this channel as i will be uploading the videos like this so till then have a great time and i will see you on the next one Thank you.